Coming to you straight from the heart of Hollywood, California, welcome to the Early Late Night Show. Here's your host, Dixie D'Amelio. Hi everyone, it's Dixie D'Amelio and welcome back to the Early Late Night Show. Today, my guest is starting on stage, we have Nylea. Anyways, how are you doing, Dixie? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So, uh -huh. Nylea, you are a YouTuber turned TikToker. Yeah. How did you start on YouTube? Um, so I started by filming like random videos, and I posted this one video of me like doing something dumb at my school. I like broke my dress code or whatever, and I was like dressing up in different outfits. And that video kind of started everything. Mm -hmm. Now I think that video has, weirdly, it has like 20 mil views now. No, yeah, crazy. it's crazy though. So you're from Texas. Yeah. And you recently moved out to LA. Mm hmm Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I think it's like, I grew up in a really small city mm -hmm. and like, but middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. and now I'm like in a big city, so it's a lot, but you know, I just try to like stay grounded, stay around people that I really like yeah. feel comfortable with and stuff. But yeah, I've, I've liked it a lot, I kinda like it a lot. I just miss being far from my family. Yeah. But. Do you live by yourself? Yeah, I do now. I had a roomie, mm -hmm. no longer have a roomie. Now I'm an independent woman and I'm living by myself, mm -hmm. but it's great. How's yeah. that? Is it? You live by yourself, right? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like when Noah's in town, it's like yeah. easy, but no, it's fun. Like, I yeah. like being, I can just do whatever I want. Yeah. It's cool. It's a lot of like freedom. Yeah. For it's sure. So like, it's scary sometimes. I hear a noise and I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, I'm dying. locking all my doors right. in my apartment. Where, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it's cool though. What did you want to do? Like, what was your dream um, growing up? Weirdly, I wanted to be a dermatologist. Mm -hmm. And I remember I did like a senior interview back in high school and they're like, what do you think you're gonna be in five years? And I literally said dermatologist and it haunts me to this day because everyone clowns me on Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but I thought I was gonna be like a doctor or I wanted to do that. And mm -hmm. now I'm doing this, so it's been fun. <laughs> how, how long were you doing YouTube before you blew up? Um, I think like a year, yeah. I was doing it for a year before, but I was making cringy videos, like awful. So I deleted all of them. Like what kind of video? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing like, I was trying to do like carpool karaoke's, mm -hmm. like that, it was awful. But um, no, yeah, I, I started, I think beginning of 2019, and then I deleted all my videos and then restarted end of 2019, and that's mm -hmm. when it kind of started. So real. now I feel like a lot of people know you from TikTok, mm -hmm. not from YouTube. <laughs> Does that, like, would you rather be called a YouTuber or a TikToker? Uh, YouTuber for sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can be myself more on YouTube, mm -hmm. and like people kind of get to know my personality a little bit more. Whereas like TikTok, sometimes I just like film a thirst trap. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the problem with TikTok is it could reach the wrong audience. Right, yeah. So then they're like, ew, you're trying to be quirky, yeah. but like your fans like, yeah. would know that that's not me, like that's a joke yeah. or whatever. It's like, that's just my personality, mm. but it's a little bit. <laughs> it's cool though. Coming to LA, <laughs> did you, was there anyone you met and you were like a fan of and then you met them and kind of fangirled? Um. Yes, kind of. I, when I first came out, I was actually weirdly a fan of my best friend, Larry. I don't shut up. Like, Larry's my best friend, <laughs> I just like always talk about it. But I was a fan of him, and then he reached out to me and was like, I think you're cool, whatever. And then I met him, and he's the best person ever. Um, I don't think I've had like a crazy like fan moment where I just like freaked out and I was like, holy like starstruck. Have Is there you? someone you think you would? Oh, 100%. Um, I love like comedians. I really like um, like Michael Sarah, Seth mm -hmm. Rogen, like that. So I would die if I ever saw some of them. But yeah. what about you? Like if I'm, when I meet Cody Ko, if I ever meet Bro, Cody Ko, I'm gonna yeah, be shaking. I get what you're saying. <laughs> like, 
That He's one's cool. gonna be a big one because yeah. I watched all of his videos. Him and David, I watched the most. You I really? Think, so I was like, that's crazy. Meeting him was crazy. I DM'd Cody once and he answered. Did and <laughs> but I have like old DMs uh -huh. from when I was a fan. Oh my god. <laughs> And I just like, didn't Cody, even delete I them. Love I was you. like, yeah. <laughs> I would just send sad. him like memes that yeah. I saw so I can like go back to them and look at them. And mm -hmm. I looked, I'm like, okay. Wait, I've I been feel cussing. Like... Is that okay? Mm. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll boop it out. Thank God. What is like your goal with doing social media? Like, what's the next thing you want to do? <gasps> Why? Products. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you and Larry are the same person. You guys both did, you're both looking. What day, what day is that coming out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, right now, I honestly like, social media for me is like a fun thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to see it too much as like a job thing. I always just want to like, release things that I'm proud of mm -hmm. or like, be a part of projects that like I with and really like. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think right now I'm just like looking forward to Posting more on YouTube, <laughs> and um, yeah, just overall, kind of wanna just chill, make it fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you've obviously had um, you've b you've barely gone into drama on the internet. You're very <laughs> unproblematic. <laughs> okay. But where is this going? <laughs> the only time I think you were on T pages is when it had to do with. Um, Mr. Vinny Hacker, um, one time boxing champion, Vinny Hacker. Mm -hmm. Legend. Legend. Mm -hmm. um, superstar, top tier TikToker, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? <laughs> I feel I like. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just had this conversation today. Like the internet just yeah. sees something and then. Did those comments, were you ever like, wait, hold on, maybe we might be a good couple kind of thing? <laughs> like, did that ever come to your mind? Um, uh, I don't know. No, I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, like, I like always have seen him as a friend, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We like kind of have like the same sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So it's always just been super like friendly, but yeah. <laughs> Was it like weird though? I mean, yeah. I'm just looking at it from personal experience. I'm like, that's I hate when people are like shipping because yeah. it makes you uncomfortable. It's like, oh. yeah, it kind of like, yeah, it definitely does make you like a little uncomfortable because it's like with like the person, like you both are like receiving that and seeing like a lot of comments and stuff. So it's like a little weird, but I think it's never gotten between like our friendship or anything. Like mm -hmm. we've always been super like cool about it. We both like laugh at it and are like, oh, it's like weird, but. It's always just been like friendly and he's great. He's a boxing champ. Only TikToker Only to tick win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, I think he was like, it was at this point where he was like always getting, I've never been on like T pages mm -hmm. and like he was always getting put on T pages and it was just like a lot and yeah. he was annoyed and I was like, what the f is happening? Mm -hmm. And so we were just kind of like, We'll let this chill. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it but, is definitely overwhelming. Do you let yeah. that get to you? Or does it bother you? No, not really. I mean, it's like definitely made the situation like, um, I guess like, it's like uncomfortable for anyone. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little mm -hmm. weird, but um, personally like doesn't get to me, like hate and stuff like that doesn't necessarily get to me to the point where I'm like, like I'm really sad about this. Mm -hmm. It hasn't gone to that point yet. I try to like dismiss the hate comments and like well, that's good. focus on the positivity. You know oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we also talked when we first met mm -hmm. that we have similar voices. <gasps> Do we? Okay, Looking. this is what I think. We both have deep voices, mm -hmm. but we also oh, ha do the thing where you like sing when you talk. Where you're like, hi, I'm Nylaia. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, hey. and once someone pointed that out to me, that kind of mm -hmm. drag out words and sing, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Like, hi, I'm Dixie, how are you? <laughs> yeah, you do do that. <laughs> I didn't hey, even realize. I'm Dixie. Yeah, hi. I do that. Yeah, I never, I like, I guess I didn't really realize I had like a deep voice until like the internet was like, 
Mm-hmm. I never thought like anything of my voice, and then <laughs> I was like, oh, God, <laughs> should I, like, take my vocal cords out? <laughs> cool, yeah. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to play a little game, mm-hmm. basically giving TikTokers and our friends senior superlatives. Okay. So I have a list of senior superlatives. I love that. And Let's do it. Okay. All right. First one, most unique. Oh, do we get to pick whoever? Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like... Oh, of our friends? Yeah. Okay. I'll go Dixie. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank You're so you. unique. <laughs> um, most athletic? Me. You're most athletic? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can dance. I can play sports. I do it all. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, go. Life of the party. Uh, Larry, I think. Yeah. Or, I feel like Bryce or Blake. Yeah, honestly, I would, maybe Blake, I guess. I remember. Yeah, Blake is yeah. pretty. Entertaining. Um, most likely to succeed. I feel like. Charlie. Charlie. Or, <laughs> or even Josh. I always see him doing stuff. Yeah. He puts in a lot of work. Yeah, he does. I'm going to go solid answer. Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Class clown. Um, who's someone that like makes everyone, Larry. Larry. Or, or Curtis. I think like Mario's super funny, Curtis is super funny. Yeah, who's like a girl that keeps everyone entertained. I think Tana's like, Dixie. Yeah, I mean, we can't choose ourselves, but it would definitely be both of us. No. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. No, class clown. <laughs> oh, Quen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there. Quen for Quen, sure. Quen, 100%. thousand percent. No, literally, yeah, Quen. I have one. Mm-hmm. Most fashionable. Most fashionable, Avani. Oh, yeah. She or Chase. <gasps> or like Emma. Mm hmm. And Emma. Slays. Who's like the easiest to talk to? I think like Mario's super easy to talk to. I can really vent to Larry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Larry. For sure. And like he gets it and like he'll get both sides where he's like. I can easily talk to you weirdly, like Chase. I think it's super easy to talk yeah. to. Yeah. He's also, the thing is, he is a good listener mm-hmm. because he's in his own world, but he'll be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. No, I love Chase. <laughs> Very good. But he is in his own world yeah. 100% of the time. <laughs> couple more. Um, we should do best couple. But also Avani and Anthony, I love. Yeah. They're probably the longest going one, I think. Yeah. 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 I think, okay, best overall. Like person? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Okay, this is gonna sound like I'm not being um, biased, but Noah is, I think, the no, but like I swear, yeah. like Sorry. everyone I talk to thinks he's like the nicest person ever. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, yeah. what is wrong with him? Like, why is he, he so is nice? Super sweet. Yeah, no, it is a sweetheart. I'm not. What? Sorry. <laughs> Are we gonna be the next boxing match? No. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching the Dixie D'Amelio Early Late Night Show. Thank you so much, Nilea, for being an amazing guest. Love you. All right, love you all. Love thank you. you. Love, bye. Love, bye.